Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. Whatever time zone you're in. Welcome to another edition of the Poetry of Painting. Great to have you with us. And that's whether you're watching live or on replay. Thank you so much for watching. And as normal, if you've got any comments or questions, please do post them and we'll either um, acknowledge them and answer them or talk about them on air or respond to them afterwards if it's uh, if you're watching on replay. Um, I can hardly believe actually that this is my 44th Poetry of Painting show and uh, the time has gone very quickly. I've really enjoyed them and I've made some very good friends including my guest tonight, who is the wonderful poet, Roz Ottery. So let me just bring her on screen. Here we go. Roz, hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you, Fiona? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. How, how are things with you? Did you have a good Christmas and New Year? We did. Busy. Uh, busy because, uh, as you know, we are parents again because we've um, adopted our grandson, great-grandson. Um, mm. But that was fun, and uh, so we we had quite a hectic Christmas, but actually very pleasant. You know, it was it was a, a child's Christmas, which sometimes are the better ones. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. The mystery of Father Christmas and hanging exactly. up stockings, and yeah, yeah. and sometimes and the elves that are naughty and all of those things. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that sounds fantastic. That's brilliant. So. Um, well, let, let's get into the poetry to start with, as we normally do. So this week, we're actually talking and writing about my painting, which is here behind me. I'll put that on screen in a minute. And it's called Shepherd's Sunrise. And it's oils on canvas and 30 by 60 centimetres. Um, it's one that I did a little while ago. Still got it. It's quite a favourite of mine. So um, it's inspired both our poems tonight. So, Roz, would you like to start off with yours for us this week? I will. Before I actually uh, start reading the poem, I, I would like to talk a little bit about it because it was a very strange thing that happened with this particular painting. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I, it, 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 when I saw it, uh, I wanted to write about it, but everything that I wrote about it uh, became uh, a little bit um, philosophical. So what actually happened was that I realized that the reason is that I was actually trying to ignore the inspiration itself that it gave me. You know, when you're trying to write a poem, what you want to do is write something that people will be able to relate to. So I try very often to avoid things that are monstrously complicated because on a first reading, it's extremely difficult to listen to a whole host of very long words on the first mm. reading. Very often those types of poem are much better in a book where someone can peruse them and look at them. But it just would not, it would not be written simply. So although this may sound a little highfalutin, this type of poem, I actually, it was what the poem did. It inspired me. I wanted to write and say exactly why I was drawn to it. So that's what I've done. So this is uh, quite an interesting type of um, experience, really, because it doesn't happen often that hmm. something is inspiring in this way. You'll see what I mean when I read the poem. So okay. I will read it for you. So, Shepherd's Sunrise. The Shepherd's Sunrise speaks. It whispers wonders of the world, whose beauty cannot be confined. Not a product of imaginings, but a legacy of being, a teaching for the emotionally blind. For each wonder of this world can speak to our immortal soul like lambs calling to the shepherd to find home, part of the whole. Beneath thought, deep within our essence, is a connection for us all, a moment when hearts bond 
cry out in joy, in peace, in love, in awe. This broken world has little space for wonders and time we squander. So we fight for our existence and clamour to find meaning, too fast to pause, too important to ponder. We seek to repair ourselves only through doing, which binds our life to gain. And a painting like this echoes the eternal ribbon of life, releases our vision and breaks that bond and chain. Artists connect to the whole to heal the wounds of a dissonant, harmful feeling. They make time for wonder and are drawn to capture it, treasure it, share its worth and healing. Behold there a night ending, resplendent by displays of celestial majesty, the firmament, mankind's leveller, enticing us to look into the eternal tapestry. Yesterday's failures cease within a night's silent reverie. Out of that darkness an emerging dawn seeps light, heralded by unspeakable beauty. So humbling in its simple resplendence, casting an ocean of possibilities across our vision, it warms our hope, repairs a broken spirit, in pinks and blues and creams and oranges to walk on in a renewed precision. So when you seek hope, think shepherd's sunrise and look to the ocean for consistency. Look to the dawn's colours for clarity. Look to the burgeoning light for inner calm. This dawn, lovingly composed here, is confirmation of our connectivity and it is this the artists hold within their palm. Wow, that is brilliant, Roz. That, that made me go cold down my back as you were reading it, which is just, you know, sometimes I get that if I'm listening to something, you know, like a really beautiful piece of music or something, that, that was just wonderful, thank you. Oh, and we've got a comment from Rosie as well. Beautiful, hopeful poem, absolutely, it's just, yeah it, it it really i i tried it's so hard not to write that poem <laughs> it was quite odd because not because i i was trying to ignore the fact that that's what it made me feel whereas in actual mm. fact once i let it go it just it just wrote itself really yeah wow that's just and just so the the imagery and the you know the well I think the main thing that came to me, like with Rosie said, just hope, you know, and positive positivity, and yeah, just beautiful. Well, it, you know what? There, there, I, I think I think there was an artist called Degas. Degas, I think, uh, and he said, uh, "Art is not what you see; uh, it's what other what you make other people see." And I mm. think that when you capture something like this, which which is a moment in time, and and much more vast than us <laughs> mm. then i think it deserves yeah. a poem like that but it is yeah. it's one of those things that's much bigger than i would normally try to write with just a picture but it isn't just a picture it was something that really stirred me oh that's amazing thank you yeah and it, and it does you know seeing a sunrise like that something beautiful in nature like that it does yeah. make us realize i think how small and and, and not meaning this in a, you know, a bad way about people, but how small and insignificant we are compared with yep. the world and the planet and the universe. And, you know, we're just little dots and these things will hopefully just we go forget. On and on. We, we absolutely forget that we're, we're just part of something, really. Mm. But, yes. Uh, yeah, it's quite, quite an interesting, mm. quite an interesting concept. I, I, I yeah. like, I like quotes. I like, I like to remember them because they're very often they're, they're said often because they're they're very true. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, so oh, you know, oh well, it is thank one you so things. much for that. Um, that's absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, so, well, my one is is somewhat different, um, and this time it's actually what I've called. Well, I don't know if it's a, a technical term for poetry, but a shape poem which was sort of inspired not only by the painting, 
but also by the feeling of waves rolling in onto the beach and then receding back out to the sea. Yeah. And um, I've actually got it printed out here so that people can hopefully see what I mean, that it each verse is like the the waves coming in and out onto the beach. So that's that's what I mean by a shape poem, whether that's a, a, a proper technical poetry term, I'm not sure, but that's that's my term for it anyway. Um, so it's it's one that um, I actually wrote it a little while back near the start of my shows, my weekly shows. And I did actually read it out on one of the very early shows before I started having guest poets. So as it's only had me poet this painting and it, I'd like this to go into my book, um, which is why I asked you, Ros, to, to write about this one. Uh, it means that this can now go into the book with your beautiful poem and my shape poem accompanying it. So, um, so I'm looking forward to that. So my, my poem then is called, not surprisingly, Shepherd's Sunrise. A gentle light, clouds lit from below, sunlight reflecting on the waves, surf changed from white to gold, waves rolling in, creating mirrors, the sand shifting in colour, brown, blue, ochre. Walk barefoot, the feel of sand on skin, the cool water between toes, the rush of foam around ankles, cool, invigorating, refreshing. It's worth the early alarm to have this moment. Another day, a blank page waiting, full of possibility and promise. Gulls call, soaring on the breeze, the sea mist clearing in the sun, the day banishing the night, excitement in the air. Breathe, inhale, the fresh ocean air. Feel alive in this open space. Be part of nature and feed your soul. Let the sea breeze clear your mind. Return invigorated, energised. Make this your day. So quite a lot of the um, the same thing about hope coming into that one, I think, and positivity and and feeding the soul. That is that. Mm -hmm. is, although I didn't say those words, a, a lot of it uh, it has a similar a similar resonance, really. Yes, yes. I think it's all about you know for me as well the the like the ozone at the beach, or you know I, I know we worry about the ozone layer and everything, but you, you do get that special. Um, you know, sort of combination of gases at the beach and the yeah. and the smells of the salt water and the beach and everything and it's just it does it, it is actually a scientific fact that the sea air does help to re-energize and and that's reinvigorate it. people so yeah. that's that's what i get from a, a sunrise at the beach so, i think uh, i think there is there's a couple of things um your paintings, uh, because you paint what you experience, you have a physical memory with the paintings as well as the visual one that you mm. see now. And and I think that that although I haven't got the same physical memory of this painting, I will have from other experiences similar. So what this does is draw you in. It, it, it reenacts all of those experiences. And I mm. think that's why it's so vast, because what you're looking at here is the ocean, which is vast, the sky, which is vast, yeah. and of course, the dawn, and you know, the, the, which, is, which is one of nature's amazing sort of light shows, if you want. So it, it, yeah, that's absolutely. why it felt so big to me. It was a, just a beautiful, I, I, I loved your poem because in a way, everything that I said had some of that feeling in the background, the mm. way that you would uh, it, be with a, with a dawn like that. So lovely, yes. really yeah. lovely. It, it is amazing, again, the, the similarity as a whole of your poem and mine, uh, you know, as to what's coming through there, as in the hope and the positivity and the, the enormousness of nature and and how we fit into it so and yeah. how it affects 
affects the soul, how it how it actually reaches you. Because I think we've mm. spoken before, I know, that that you hope that art does do that. It stirs, it you know, it, it yeah. produces something which is up and above the actual actuality of what you've written or painted. And and it's mm. and I think that 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 both of those poems really to do that and certainly the piece this this painting absolutely did that to me almost as soon as i saw it because it, you will Excellent. notice that when you you sent it to me i immediately said yes yeah. <laughs> it did speak yes. to me immediately yeah a very quick response on that one yes yeah was, and that's yeah, it, it is for me that is a lot of what my painting is about it's not just me putting down my emotions into something which hopefully is beautiful for other people to look at but also trying to stir emotions in in the viewer and to um well i think everybody probably knows by now how you know keen i am about doing what we can to prevent any more damage to this planet and hopefully reverse yeah, some of it and and trying to instill some of that wonder and uh, at the beauty of nature in people and you know if my paintings can do even a just a a little bit to help that then i feel that it's you know it's such a good thing and and i just hope that they can but and let me just say thank you very much every everybody for comments so far and for watching thank you it's great to have you with us do feel free to ask questions and add your lovely comments or not so lovely comments obviously you're entitled if, if that's the way that you want to comment that's fine um uh, we don't want you know, don't want you hiding, and um, you know, um, but anyway, sorry, I know what I'm trying to say there, but it's not coming out right, never mind. Well, I, I, uh, think, yeah. I, think, I think people get your drift there, Fiona, it is, it is, you know, it, it's good that people, <laughs> people say what's in their hearts, and if, and, and yes. negative stuff, it doesn't, doesn't have to be, have it doesn't have to be, you know, a negativity that, that, uh, that downgrades things, it can be something hmm. that engenders discussion, and produces yes. a whole new tack, so, Absolutely, yes, yes. Um, so in, in the meantime, Ros, um, what new things have, are on your agenda at the moment? Are you doing any poetry shows or has everything sort of closed down again with... I've, um, latest... Well, I've, I've, I've done some Zoom um, poetry things and I'm, I'm, I'm booked in for a couple, of, um, a couple of ones that are coming up, which I, yeah. I have the, you know, what they call the headliner slot on, which means basically you Excellent. do 20 minutes instead of a five minute um, open mic slot. You, you you get a whole 20 minutes to, to, to either inspire or bore people with your poetry, depending on <laughs> who is there and, and what type of poetry they like, because not everything suits everyone. It's always one of those things. True, um, true. But, but as long as... Um, as long as those opportunities are there, that keeps me going, really. One of the mm. reasons I moved to Yorkshire, I, I, we lived in London for 22 years, and I moved up here because having come up here, I, I was just inspired by the, the countryside. It's very rugged and very raw up here. Um, and that's one of the things that I enjoy because it gives me so much inspiration to write. Yes, yeah. yeah. Just getting out into into the countryside, you know, even if it's not into, you know, the really wild areas, it's still it's like walking through woods and forests. It, it's something about walking in amongst trees for me um, that just helps to to ground us and and yeah. you know, it's just good for the soul, isn't it? It, it, it really is. is. It absolutely is, and uh, and that is one of the yeah. reasons why I think it's so lovely that art echoes it because that's exactly you know what, what what we all need absolutely so chris chris is agreeing with you yorkshire is god's own country so <laughs> it really is it really is I, i'm sure there are other places beautiful in different ways but this this yeah. has more than just pretty views it has mm. something that's raw that's really that's completely unspoilt um in a way that that isn't just pretty it's not pretty it's mm. it, it just affects you very much very atmospheric up here very atmospheric yeah yes yeah i haven't been up there for quite a few years now so uh, but i think ne um, later this year we might be um might be just heading north a little bit so uh you never oh. know if we come up your way i'll drop you a line and uh oh 
<laughs> Absolutely. Chris, Chris is saying, <laughs> see, we will. Absolutely. See Chris's comment, the three wise men in the Bible came from Yorkshire. Yes. And um, he likes this well, one because me. it's... They probably had something to say in that case. Well, as he would say, the three wise men came from the east riding on camels. And where is the East Riding? <laughs> in Yorkshire. That's his that's his take on it. <laughs> Sorry, are you hearing hearing me, Roz? Mm. Oh, I'm not hearing you, Roz. Are you there? Oh, well, we seem to be losing the sound on Roz a little bit there, which is <laughs> Oh, no, you're uh, back. You're dropping out a little bit at the minute, Fiona. Oh, you're back. That's these Good. technical things. Oh, yes, yeah. I am. I'm I'm still here, but we're having a little bit of technical difficulty. Well, not to worry. As long as we've got you back now. Yeah, it's so, it delayed. Um, it's, right. it's, it's a little yeah. delayed. <laughs> the, one, the wonder of modern technology. Yep, so. absolutely. I think, uh, again... I know, and, and, and it, it, it scuppers us every time, Fiona. It's not, uh, it's not easy, is it? No, no, but we'll, we'll just keep going and, yeah, be strong, be resilient. Absolutely. We'll just keep going. And, and, <laughs> and <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, so I think now with two more poems from two more of my guest poets, that's going to be the content for the book, which is really exciting. Wow. So now starts the process of trying to organize it actually being published in one way or another. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm looking yeah. forward to that. It's, it's going to be very interesting because I, I've, well, I have had a book published before, but uh, a lot of the work was done for me on that one, which was amazing. And it was a book about just about my art. And that was a few years ago now. So it's about time I did something else. And um, yeah, so if you if you could also just send me a short bio about yourself, Ros, because I'm sure people yeah. would love to know a little bit about you when they read your poetry as well in the book. Yeah, so absolutely. It's going to go in there. Um, so that's, that's exciting on my radar. Um, what else have I got? We're starting our Kingston shows again this coming Saturday, weather permitting. Um, so we should be there from about, well, set up by about nine, which is normally a bit too early for most people in Kingston. Um, but looking forward to that, weather permitting, as I say. So that would be good to get out and, you know, be showing our art and just, you know, chatting to people. Yes, it's lovely to sell, but it's lovely to talk to people about the art as well and just... And, and hear what it, you know, what they feel when they look at the art as well. You know, it's really yeah. interesting for that. So um, there's that and um, I may have mentioned it last week, but I've I've uh, booked in for an art fair, which is in September. So seems like a long way away at the moment, but I know that's going to be here very quickly with everything else that I want to do before then, including hopefully having the book ready for the art fair as yeah. well um just something extra there to take so it's i think it's going to be an exciting year um, yeah. we just need to hope that a certain little sneaky virus doesn't disrupt everybody's plans too much this i know year. well it's it's scuppered our plans a little bit because we were going to go into some schools and do some environmental poetry and get the children to write environmental poetry and publish something with their work in and our work mm. but unfortunately uh, at this moment in time they're, they're, we can't do that in the schools mm. at the moment because of the situation but it will happen it's just mm. delayed that's all um we don't know, of course, when this virus is, is going to be clear enough to feel safe enough for people to go in and do those things. But mm, mm. It's better to be cautious rather than it too is, adventurous. It is. Well, we, we can do some of it on Zoom, but the difficulty is mm. that the, the kids are doing quite a lot on Zoom. So mm. they, 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 want, they would much prefer this to be live because it would be more exciting for them. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, we... The, 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 the um interaction between you all and 
and there must be you know an air of excitement that also yeah. helps to feed you know feed their imaginations between all of them i would have thought yeah so and because it's to. about it's about the environment that that's something that most children are very interested anyway you know lots of people i mean i don't know about when they get to secondary school but these are junior school children uh, and they're yeah. and they're passionately worried about litter and about and about plastics in the sea and 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 creatures which they they you know they 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 have very soft hearts in junior school so all of that mm. is really important and i think important mm. to keep going so absolutely and that, i think that's really encouraging to hear because they are the ones you know they're now yes they're at junior absolutely. school but they're going to be the ones following on that can hopefully help to make a big difference as well yes yeah none of us should be complacent relying on you know children coming through but you know i think that's so encouraging to hear that as well so yeah brilliant i so think any... all we've got to do really and obviously not to labor this point too much but uh, but we all we've got to do is to make sure that they have a, a spot for it. Mm. So you you were breaking up slightly then, Ros. I missed the last yes. few words. It's, it's, there's, a, there's a delay again. <laughs> yeah. I was I was just saying. Can can you can you hear me, Fiona? Yes. Yes. Does it? No, it's it's gone strange again. I can hear you. We're just not um, in sync. I, your I was just saying that I just hope I just yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I I think that as long as as long as the children that are growing up now are given a platform, i.e. the, mm. the space politically to 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 do what they know is the right thing, then then I think that we can have a chance. Really, that would. Yeah. yeah well that's a good positive note to end on Ros because already we are just about almost up to our half hour which wow. never ceases to amaze me how yeah. quickly these shows just fly past it, honestly it's I'm sure we could just carry on for well technical issues aside carry on for at least another half an hour just talking about all of these things which would be amazing um, but it's been so good to have you back on the show, Roz. And, really enjoyed uh, it. Just, yeah, thank you again. Such a wonderful poem. It was, it's just lovely to hear how that painting made you feel. And um, I look forward to receiving a copy of it to actually read it as well. Because as you say, it's... Yeah, it, it's as I said, it, it needs a bit of perusing, that one. <laughs> mm. so I'm looking forward to that. And... Um, Hopefully, you will return again to join me for another show in due course as well. Uh, absolutely. I, I, I love coming on, and, and I really thank you for allowing this space to do it. Because, you know, obviously, poems are a passion of mine, and, and I love to do that in conjunction with your art, which really does inspire me. So that's, that's a really good collaboration. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who's been watching either live or obviously in due course on replay and i hope that you'll all be able to join me again next wednesday 19th of january that'll be at seven o'clock uk time as normal here on facebook where i'll have another super guest reading some more poetry about one of my paintings so stay safe have a wonderful week ahead of you don't forget if you're in kingston come by and say hello if the weather's decent on saturday and uh, just leaves me to say cheerio from now. So cheerio, Ros. Thanks very Bye. much again. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Take care. Bye.